great day to be out here exploring here at Cole Creek State Park. Beautiful wilderness here. Many miles of trails to explore, lots of off the beaten path places, scenic wilderness, wildlife, and many layers of history as well throughout the area. One time, there were a lot of turpentine operations here during the early to mid 1900s. Ranching, logging, and limestone mining as well. So many layers of history. Today is preserved for us to take in the nature. Let's journey into these woods. Going along some of the trails here at Cold Creek State Park. So beautiful here. Scenic wilderness, lush and green. Out here enjoying the fresh air. Really interesting exploring through the woods here, seeing some evidence from the turpentine industry once was active in this area in the early 1900s. And in fact, it was once the largest industry in Florida there in the 1800s and early 1900s. And turpentine had an array of uses and byproducts and many pine trees throughout the state and in this area were harvested for their sap and resin, which was used in the production of making turpentine and workers would attach collecting cups to these pine trees and seeing some of the trees left out here from that time incredible Right here we are, roaming through the woods along this creek, seeing some remnants from the turpentine industry throughout the area. Takes you back to another time, and I'm also seeing a lot of limestone throughout this wilderness as well. Evidence from the limestone mining areas that are dug up. It's an active area for industry out here. Peaceful wilderness today. Incredible. Seeing more cat face trees out here. And it's like detective work in a way, out here investigating, searching through these areas. 
you find one, who knows how many more else could be around. So what I've been doing is going through different sections here and just checking every area that I can. And that's how I'm seeing more. It's part of the adventure. Which is what I really love. You never know what you'll discover along the way. You can see the nails right here. Tree is split right here through the middle. I can look really close to see a lot of these catfish trees out here. This one here, you can tell, was used for turpentine, and it's split in half. And it's hard to really see any markings to indicate there is a cat face and that was used for turpentine but then if you look closely you can see the nails still attached to it and that's where they would have put the hurdy cups at very interesting seeing a lot of these cat face pine trees out here remnants from days of turpentine operations in this wilderness here and you can see the markings on the tree where they would tap it for the sap and resin. These markings were known as the cat face. See this cat face still has the gutter attached deep in there on the inside of this tree. It's growing around it. You can see nails here. <laughs> 